Hi, this is Alex from PHP Academy, back with another video for the new Boston. Now in this video we're going to look at a more reliable way um, at getting a user's IP address. Now in previous examples we've used uh, underscore $server and then we've used remote uh, address. Now this isn't always an accurate um, depiction of the user's uh, IP address. For example, um, they might be on a shared network, so they might be, let's say, a router may exist with uh, a few computers, or you may have someone using a proxy. So what we're going to do in here is we're going to uh, be creating a way to grab the user's IP address um, based on checking each three elements. The first element we're going to check is um, the actual IP address. Say, let's say um, I was on a shared network. I don't want the IP address to start with 192. I want it to be the actual IP address. Um, what we're then going to do is check if um, the user is using a proxy. And then what we're going to do is check if the user, uh, well, we're going to do a final result and say, well, if not, we'll use this uh, remote. Uh, address here. So let's have a look at what we need to set variable wise in order to perform our check. So we need some kind of values. And we're always going to be using this server um, preset set of uh, environmental variables. Um, but we're going to be doing things slightly differently. So the first one is going to be um, the HTTP client IP and what this is is this is the um, this is checking the actual internet IP address rather than the individual computer like I said if you're sat uh, at a group of computers all connected to the same like router or hub you'd be getting a sort of like a 192 dot something address perhaps so HTTP client IP we need the dollar uh, underscore server and in here we just do HTTP client IP so that's the first one ticked off the list the second one is HTTPX forwarded for so it's HTTPX forwarded for and this is when we are checking uh, if the user is using a proxy so let's put HTTPX forwarded for okay so the last one is the final um, the final uh, decision, if you like. I mean, this this is going to be this is going to be uh, the last option. So that we've already looked at this. So it's dollar. I'm not really going to talk about it. It's uh, just remote address there. So we need to come up with an if statement to check each one, and we're going to use the dollar um, the uh, exclamation mark, and then we're going to be using empty. So we're going to be saying not empty. So the first thing thing we're going to do is we're going to say if not empty http client ip then ip address equals http client ip else if so we're creating an else uh, an if else statement here um, or if else if else statement um, and we're going to say else if http x forwarded for and we can say not oh, not empty and we're going to enclose that in brackets as well then the IP address equals HTTP X forwarded for okay then last we're just going to say if none of these have been detected and they're all empty then the IP address is going to be equal to remote address Okay, so that's a lot better way of looking at it. So because I'm running on a local, local my, my just my computer with my local server, I'm not going to be able to test this very well because these two are definitely going to be empty. I already know that they're going to be empty. So at the end of this, we can echo out the IP address. You could even put this into a function uh, if you've already looked at functions, uh, and you could supply this data uh, through the function and then return a value at the end of it. But for now, I'm just demonstrating with an if else if else statement. So we're going to echo the IP address at the end of that. Um, up here, we haven't defined IP address because I'm just going to leave it until it is set. So we're going to echo IP address. Let's just refresh the page, and you can see. Oh no, nothing's happened. So let's have a look. Okay, yeah, so I've missed off a D on there. Okay, so now let's refresh and we can see that we'll be given the value 127.0.0.1. However, um, you are feel free to test this on uh, your own thing, upload it to a web server, 
um, connect to the internet, test it wherever you can, just to check that everything's working. Uh, so this is a lot better way to grab um, a user's IP address, just by checking three different possibilities before we come to the conclusion that this is the address. This isn't entirely foolproof, but it is a lot better way. So if you are thinking about storing a user's IP address, try to use this. And like I said before, if you put it in a function, it's going to be a lot better and easier to use. And you can reuse that code over and over again.